it's Think Museums and we're here at the Getty Museum here in Los Angeles and we're checking out some great stuff from this great city and from this huge museum and guess what this museum is pretty much free look at the site behind me that is downtown Los Angeles look at that that's pretty cool wow so it is 3.30. Yeah. So we've got two full hours. Uh -huh. Right now, guys, we are here at the lobby and we're looking at the architectural viewpoint of the museum itself. So this is like the directory. It shows the various exhibitions and various buildings where each and every exhibition is held. So when you're here, you can check it out and see you know make it easier for you where you want to start from so this is where the lobby is this is where the, you get the directory of the surroundings yeah like so which one do you want us to two. let's do level two first yeah. right let's go to level two is that the america's one or this one. because i see there's a fantasy of the middle ages on the oh, other yeah, side I see that too. but maybe we have to go through that The J. Paul Getty Museum is also commonly referred to as the Getty. It's an art museum here in Los Angeles, California, and is on, is housed on two campuses. Uh, so they have the Getty Center and the Getty Villa. So here, where we are right now, it's called the Getty Center, and the location is called Brentwood, neighborhood of Los Angeles. And this museum here features pre-20th century European paintings, drawings, illuminated manuscripts, sculptures, decorative arts and photographs from the inception of photography through present day from all over the world. So that is pretty awesome. The original Getty Museum, which is at the Getty Villa, is located in the Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles and displays art from ancient Greece and Rome and all that. In 1974, John Paul Getty opened a museum in a recreation of the Villa of the Papyri on his property in Malibu, California. In 1982, the museum became the richest in the world when it inherited over $1.2 billion. In 1983, after an economic downturn in what was then West Germany, the Getty Museum acquired 144 illuminated medieval manuscripts from the financially struggling Ludwig collection, one of the finest holdings of its kinds ever assembled. It's quite certainly the most important that was in private hands. In 1997, the museum moved to its current location in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles. The Malibu Museum, renamed the Getty Villa, was renovated and reopened in 2006. There's a lot of controversy surrounding you know, development of uh, collection. And in the 70s and 80s, uh, there was a curator here at um, the Getty whose name was Jaira Frell. And he designed a tax manipulation scheme which expanded the museum collection of antiquities, essentially buying artifacts of dubious provenance as well as a number of artifacts generally considered fakes, such as the Getty Kudos.
Another controversy in the Getty involved regarding proper title to some of the artwork in its collection. The museum's previous curator of antiquities, Marion True, hired by Prayal, was edicted in Italy in 2005, along with a famed dealer named Robert Hess, on criminal charges relating to trafficking in stolen antiquities. Similar charges have been addressed by the Greek authorities. The primary evidence in the case came from 1995 raid of Geneva, Switzerland warehouse, which had contained a fortune in stolen artifacts. Italian art dealer Giacomo was arrested in 1997. His operation was thought to be one of the largest and most sophisticated antiquities network in the world, responsible for illegally digging up and spiriting away thousands of top drawer pieces and passing them on to the most elite end of the international art market. In 2005, True was forced to tender a regularization by the Board of Trustees which announced her early retirement. Italy allowed the statute of limitation of the charges filed against her to expire in October 2010. In a letter to the J. Paul Getty Trust on December 2006, Drew stated that she was being made to carry the burden for practices which were known, approved, and condoned by the Getty Boards of Directors. True is currently under investigation by the Greek authorities over the acquisition of a 2005-year-old funerary relic that was illegally excavated and smuggled out of the country. The wreath, along with the 6th century BC statue of Coral, have been returned to Greece and are currently exhibited, exhibited at the Archaeological Museum of Thessaloniki. On November 20, 2006, the director of the museum, Michael Brandt, announced that 26 disputed pieces were to be returned to Italy, but not the Victoria's Youth, which is still claimed by the Italian authorities. In 2007, the Los Angeles J. Paul Getty Museum was forced to return 40 artifacts including a 5th century BC statue of the goddess Aphrodite, which was looted from Morgantina, an ancient Greek settlement in Sicily. The Getty Museum resisted the request of the Italian government for nearly two decades, only to admit later that there might be problems attached to the acquisition. In 2006, Italian senior cultural official Giuseppe Proietti said, the negotiations haven't made a single step forward. Only after he suggested the Italian government to take cultural sanctions against the Getty, suspending all cultural cooperation, did the J. Paul Getty Museum return the antiquity. In another unrelated case in 1999, the Getty Museum had to hand over three antiquities to Italy after determining they were stolen. In 2016, the terracotta head of the Greek god Hades was returned to Sicily, Italy. The ecological artifact was looted from in 1970s the Getty Museum purchased the terracotta head from Hades in 1985 from the New York collector Maurice Templesman, who had purchased it from the London dealer Robert, Robin Symes. Getty records show the museum paid $530,000 for it. On December 2016, the head of the Hades was added to the collection of the Ecological Museum of Aden.
Thank you guys for watching. If you're visiting the Getty Museum here in Los Angeles, you need to critique and understand where these objects come from. Uh, as much as you want to enjoy their beauty, you also need to understand where they came from and under what circumstances they found themselves in this beautiful museum. They have very beautiful aesthetic value, but in the same note, they might have been taken from somebody. So if you visit the Getty Museum or any other museum in that sense, just go ahead, critique it, try to understand where the objects came from and what are the provenance or history about these objects. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time in a different museum, is Think Museums.